We're doing a fun vlog today, so we're back to doing the adventure vlogs. Look how much this is shaking. Um, we're going to Kapiti because it's nice out there and it's a beautiful day, so why not go to the beach? It's a brilliant day, look at it. Look um, at what we're going to do at the beach is we're going to dig holes and build sandcastles. Sandcastles. With us today we have... Adam. I just ran a fucking red light. Pranav. James. Charlie. When I get to 200 subscribers, I'll do a giveaway. Ooh, big cool. Might just be a bag of chips or something. <laughs> no, there we go. If I make it to 200 subscribers before Christmas, I'll do a giveaway and I'll give away some food. If you want to enter the competition, you have to subscribe, like this video, and comment. No, there's like three or four people who usually like comment on my videos, so it's going to be one of those people. So it's either going to be Lisa, OXS TV, Layton, or who's the other one? Or Charlie. Look at all those chickens! Big enough and big enough. Then we can bomb in it. <laughs> if you want to break your f***ing back. It's soft. Well, the plan was to build a sand castle, but we just dug a fucking hole instead. That's impressive. Put it in. Put the stick in. Ugh. We've done pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty big. I I'm proud of this effort. That's a decent hole. Yeah. Right, let's go to the pool. Adam decided that it would be better to go through the river. And right up there, there's Pranav on the bridge. We could have just kind of crossed that. Let's do it. Oh, it's cold. Adam, you know what's going to be in here? Oh. Eels. Like right over there, over there. Big fat eels. Oh, that was all good. Uh, going to the beach, I thought we were going to get like some really cool beach footage. Um, but it was too windy so we hit around there and just dug a hole instead. Right, and now we're going to the Coastlands Aquatic Centre because they have a hydro slide. So it's going to be just a bunch of like old guys competing with lots of really young kids for time on the slide. Yeah, we'll fuck with this. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry? What? I don't even know. Okay, so we have a little bit of an issue. We're in Kapiti, which is, I'll put a map on the screen right now, Stefan, do that. 45 k's away. Yeah. We are here in Kapiti, so and we need to get to here before 8 o'clock, because that's when my uh, curfew begins, and it's now 10 past 7, and it's about an hour drive to the city. So, kind of a little bit f but here's a little bit of a rant. This is the second week in a row where I've had an issue. Like the first time was when Jack had to go to the hospital. I tried to call somebody like 30 times to get in touch with somebody to see if I could go and stay a little bit longer. No f answer from my probation officer or the after hours number or the electronic monitoring people. And I've just tried to call again. It's the same thing. So this is two weeks in a row where I haven't been able to get in touch with anybody. And it's pretty shit. So Adam has now called the highway recovery 
Highway Vehicle Recovery. Highway Vehicle so, re Recovery Services to try and get back into the car. Because the, the other issue is that inside the car, <laughs> the only person that has a phone is Pranav. My cell phone's in there. Adam's cell phone is in there. Oh, here, he is. here are the car keys. <laughs> and I need to get home. Here he is. Obviously we're in the car now and now I've got to try and get home. I finally managed to get in touch with my probation officer once the, uh, the lovely man from the highway recovery charged 60 bucks to open the door. There is one way to avoid this, it's not to get yourself into this situation. <laughs> Adam says it's my fault. He... We were all out of the car and you're like, my window's open because you left your window open. And when I close your window, I left my keys in the ignition. Okay, but my window was only open because you pulled up and then turned the car off straight away. Yes, that's that's my side of the story. You didn't give me a chance to. Did you hear me? I said about 10 times while I was in the car, I said, Adam, the window's... <laughs> no, I said, Adam, the window's still open. Please let me close it. There will be issues if you don't let me close it. And you said, F*** off. And anybody who watches this who knows Adam will know that's, that's a true story because that's what he says. He says, F*** off. Or, nah. Now it's time for another Pranav story time. Pranav, take the microphone. As you know, may know by now, we were locked out, and so the dude came along, Highway Recovery Service, and uh, so turns out no one actually has money except for me, so I had to pay for it. I, obviously, the guy didn't take uh, cards, which is weird. We thought he was joking, but no, seriously, he doesn't take card, only cash, only for. But it, it could have been done. It just, you know, didn't have to take that long. You know, it was a bit, bit annoying, and I, you know, I kind of thought, hey, we had to leave as well. So yeah, that is my story. Bye, Jane. Bye, Stefan. Bye, Adam. Thanks for getting me home in time and for locking your keys in the car and making me late. That's all right. Okay, finally made it home. It's 8.24, that's not too bad.